Okay, I'm back. I'm hoping this looks better. So I've got some containers here. This is the necklaces. This is the bracelets because there's a lot. And we've got my box here. This is my lovely milk glass bowl for the sterling. I'm hoping that overfills. And then I've got this for the earrings. So we're going to move these over here. I'm probably just going to have to do all of my videos in here because it seems like the lighting is a little bit better. It's not as bad. So like this was the one I was trying to show you earlier. It looks so much better in here. It's not overpowering. And then this is the sterling ring that I believe is Pandora because it's A-L-E. And I have my Pandora. My Pandora. Anyway, so let's get back to this. Let's see if we can arrange it a little bit more. Like I said, I'm trying, I'm still trying to deal with my lighting. I don't know how to do it. It's just, it is what it is, I guess, until I get it all figured out. I'm only, what, two videos? Well, I made three. I took one down, the one that was me talking about me, and I just took it down because I didn't, didn't like it too much. And This is a bracelet, which will go in that red bin. The bracelets go in the red bin, and things I really, really like are going to stay out here. Make sure I'm doing this right. There's no name on that one. It does. It has an E on there. Okay. More of these. Oh, let's try this again. This is the big pile that's all tangled up. So what we're going to do is we're going to move some of this stuff out of the way that I have up here. And I'm going to set this. It's my magnet and my handy dandy light. I lose that magnet all the time. I have had to go back through boxes just to find my magnet. We're going to stick this up here until I don't want to deal with that mess. So, there's another necklace. Really pretty. It, it's Charming Charlie. So, necklaces go in a yellow box. And there's a little pendant. It's so cute. Little heart and a moon. Love you more than the moon and stars. Just has a couple stars on the back. It's not marked any way, shape, or form. So little bits I'll probably just put up there for now. Another pendant. That's actually pretty nice. I like that one. It's not marked. I wish these things were marked. It almost... I, I know it's not, but it's hopeful. It's either copper or silver plate because it looks really nice. But it's not marked anywhere. And sometimes if it's not magnetic, I'll still test it because sometimes it's a chain that was marked. And not the actual pendant. But that doesn't happen very often. But here is this lovely thing. It's magnetic. I have another ring light, which I'm going to set up back there at some point in time. I got to get a new, um, another charging block. I was a cat, and it isn't, not an earring. It looks like it was. It doesn't belong to that. I don't know. What is it? It's a tail. Mm, I'm, that's confusing. So, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, because it came out of there, but it don't fit in there. Looks like somebody lost a piece of their tail. Anyway, Harry. Oh, Froggy. <laughs> He's cute. It's another earring. It does not say any. Oh, wait a minute, it does. It says something right there. It's cute. JJ. Oh, that's really cute. Now I know it's a JJ. Look at that. Moves. And we're going to place this one right here because I like that one. Uh, I'm going through all the beads in the 1956. Some kind of horse coin pendant says 1956 on one side. I have no idea what it says. 
it almost looks, it looks like a but it is sterling so i kind of here's another one of those spoon bracelets and i know i need to figure out my lighting still i might move the light because this video i'm not getting video so i don't go very quick not everything needs to be done quickly sometimes you have to enjoy the slow paces of life i might move the light over there to give Better, more, I don't know how to put it. I put the rings up here. Oh. There's a sword. That's really nice. It's a little wavy ring. Looks like it might. Yep, it says sterling. Not very much sterling, but it is sterling. I usually hoard all my sterling. But, here, I'll pull some of these out so you can see them. But I have been selling some of my sterling as well. I, I, I keep the ones I really, really like. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Oh, Napier. That's a really nice one. So, we're going to leave that one out. The ones I really like are going to go back. I was going to hang it up. We're going to put it back there. This is the other earring. That one I put in the milk glass ashtray up there it's an ashtray but shh, tell. <sighs> so looks like we're gonna have a lot of earrings more rings but I'm okay with it because that Boyd's bear bracelet I will sell I'm just not sure how much I'm gonna list it for it'll be on my Hot Root Story store. I'm not really too sure how much I'll sell it for. This one's nice. Ohio State. It needs cleaned up, but it's still nice. So only this one out here. That one's nice too. It's got some weight to it. I don't think this is anything, but we'll see what it says on the back. Oh, Napier. That's why it's got some weight to it. Napier made some really nice things. If I'm saying it all wrong, sorry, but that's how I pronounce it. That's what we do. Pronounce things wrong around here. Nope. And I've got several of these. And I have a bunch. Actually, I don't. I might just leave this set up the way it is. I kind of don't mind it. There's another earring. Does that say Sterling somewhere? see if not then it should because I say so yeah watch it be magnetic this is actually one way I should oh it's not so I'll find it later and test it later I still because it's not marked I'm definitely putting it in there if it were marked it goes in the ones that are marked and I still I do acid test all of the sterling because I've gotten several, a lot of fake product, a lot of fake, fake, fake stuff. Another earring. I said we're going to go through the earrings later. That'll probably be a whole video on itself. Uh, I'm not a fan of these. I put those in craft lots. This is, a, it's not a dog chain, but maybe it should be. Oh, no. I could turn this into a leash. Handle of a leash for a little dog. And you just add some leather here, sew it. I do sew leather. I've done some leather work for some friends of mine who have some different taste in life. I don't judge them. They do what they do. And they went and watched that lovely movie. That 50-something other movie and the 50 Shades movie. And they got all into it. So I made them something that they enjoyed. Because I do leather work. I love working with leather. Leather is easy if you know what you're doing. And I would go buy belts at the bins, which it's really getting hard to find those at the bins anymore. Real leather, true leather belts. And I would strip them and make things out of them. 
I mean, leather laces for my boots. It says all smiles here. It's, one, it's got one of these. I forget what this little thing is called, but. And I've made these as well. Pure Vita. Which. I usually throw Pure Vita in uh, Craft Lock because you have to have a lot of those. And when I get done with this, I will sort it into a craft lot to figure out so these are earring bracelet what goes I, I go through it once and then I go through it again that's actually a really nice ring it's a flat finish it's these are just costume but they're still nice I let my boyfriend look down to see if he has any he likes first there's one of those big earrings Okay, so let's see. Let's try some of this. We got a lot of these. Anybody likes hoops? I have you covered. So these again are sold in a lot. So depending on their condition, these are actually really nice condition. They're not worn out. Some are bent up. The bent up ones will not, of course, go into for sale. Well, that's cute. Look at that. It's dolphins. I like that. That should be marked, but it's not. Not that I can tell, but it might be stainless. Eh, we'll put it in there anyway. We'll put her in there. She's probably not. She's probably just stainless. It felt kind of different. Ring, mm. bracelet, earring, and this one says Leo. See the lion? But it says nothing inside, and it's very magnetic. The thing is, is not everything you get, this leaf, wood leaf, will be. This one's broken. It's missing the thing. But I've had some ideas for these. Like, they're all these aren't hollow. The ones that are hollow, too, you can, if you're good enough, you can feed a string through there and make something out of it. But sometimes with these marks, you have to look up here. You have to look inside or on the back. And sometimes the chains are marked. This is not, obviously. So I'm going to put it in there. But not everything is marked. I have had some 18 and 22 karat gold bracelets. I admit I did sell them for scrap because I did not. I just saw a ring in there. Well, let's pull this out first. That's that's pretty. Look at that. Pearls and I don't see any marks on it. It's not magnetic though. See, these should, people should mark. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it to the side. Not want to put it, I'm not going to put it in there. Uh, see the ring? I wanted to look at it. Well, that's nice. It's got some wear to it. It's a costume ring, but... It's kind of cool. I had some, eight, like I said, I had some 18 karat bracelets, some 22 karat bracelets. I've had gold that's just not marked at all, and... I took them and scrapped them because problem with eBay. If I put down that they're unmarked, somebody buys them. And because they're unmarked, if they try to say that they're not sterling, like this would go on a scrap because I don't, I don't, I don't. If they say they're not, we have 14 minutes. I need to get this done. Yep, yeah, in my jaws. Um, but if they say they're you know, because you're, they're not marked. And I save all these, too. These are my favorites. And you sell it to them. Oh, these were earrings. I hope I get the other one. I'm not seeing it, though. It might be hidden in that big mess. Really long earring. We're going to leave that out, because we don't want that getting tangled up anymore. <coughs> Sorry about that. I had to clear my throat. So, my problem was selling them. Oh, it hasn't marked. Ralph, Ralph Lauren, Fort Ralph Lauren, Ralph, uh, I, you know, I don't know, 
RLL. At work, we just call it Ralph Lauren because I make all of the hang tags at work. I bark, I do the barcoded sign. That's my real job. That's my day job. I make pretty trash, but my aluminum. My problem with selling unmarked things on eBay is if somebody gets it and they say, "Oh, it's not gold," but they've already, you know made a complaint to eBay, it's not real gold, blah, 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 they can send you, even though they were very detailed. They could make an item not as described, and you know you're supposed to get your items back, but you may not get back what you sent. So, I mean, you take that chance with everything that you sell on eBay. However, with unmarked gold, I just wasn't dealing with it. I didn't want to take the chance. So, I took it to my local coin shop. I scrapped them. Paid my mortgage that month. Because it's better than losing money in the end, in my opinion. Boy, look at this mess. Let's try to get something out. It's these earrings. Once you get the earrings out, you break stuff loose. And whatever this monstrosity thing is, there's another earring that looks broken. Whatever this is. Mm, really? It's a necklace. It's got two little thingies hanging down. We're not going to get it out. There's a heart. Sorry. I had to see where we were. No markings, but it's nice. And I'm just going to go over here because I really have no... Oh. This earring tried to escape. It's a tree. So yeah, I, I have scrapped things because I just don't want to deal with somebody saying it's not real and getting their money back. This is an Avon. It's got little things in it. It says NR or some NRO, and I believe that's Avon. Avon has a lot of codes. Lot. Oh, Bali elephant. I think that's Bali. There's an elephant. That actually is probably sterling. Even if I can't find a mark, I will. I will definitely. Oh no! It's the earring wire. It's sticking. It's not the elephant. The elephant's not sticking. Even if it's not marked, sometimes these are sterling. Somebody may have taken it off of something else, turned it into an earring, even if it's, I'll still check it just to make sure, even if it's not marked. Because I have found a lot of those are sterling. I gotta get some more acid for my acid tester. That one's kind of pretty. That would make a pretty earring right there. Just down here. I'll put that on here instead of putting it in there. I'm privy to rhinestones. I love shiny things. But I don't... <laughs> I should sell my rhinestones just like my... Oh, this will probably be silver too. No, it's got to be copper. Maybe. Silver turns yellow before it turns black. Nope. I see the copper coming through. Um, but... I know I'm supposed to be buying things to sell it, but I just absolutely love rhinestones. This bracelet. That's going to be. Yeah, it's not sterling. It's definitely not sterling. It's got a lot of wear on the ends. It's a pretty pattern, but. Eh. Oh, I see Mickey again. That is a big Mickey earring. And I am so afraid to sell a Mickey. If I find the other one, I might. Or if somebody likes Mickey and <coughs> send an email. And it's the same. My email is flaws and all treasures, the same as this with at gmail.com. It's a long necklace. Maybe we can work out a deal for some stuff. Just another bright earring. Get a lot of earrings. But I'm so. Oh, I see. Trafari. Where is it? Come out. Please. I'm hoping to get this done in two videos. I don't want to do three. Oh, it's this one. 
does it have marker sites on it? Is it this one? I think it is. Let's not break the Trafari. There we go. That's pretty. It's a new, I think it's a newer tag, but it's still Trafari. You see the shiny marker sites? It's a Crown Trafari. I believe that's a newer tag, but I could be wrong. But I believe this is their newer line, which it's still Trafari. Don't get me wrong. It's still Trafari. Trafari does have great resale, whether it's newer or older. It's like Miriam Haskell. Miriam Haskell jewelry is still being made, from my understanding, and sold at, I think, a hotel in New York. I could be wrong. See, these would make, these are pretty. If somebody, those would, I wouldn't sell it, but those would be great to add to a multi-layer necklace, which I'm probably going to keep this to do that because I'm working, trying to come up with a design for a project I want to do for making, oh, look at those little coins, 1961, at least tells you how old this is, maybe, <laughs> there's no name on it, so could be a lot of wear and it there's that coin not quite sure who that is that's the front huh anyway <coughs> and I will go through these again and again it's tassel fell off so we'll put that in the beads and I'm not seeing another frog yet I'm hoping to get the other frog there's another earring. This might be sterling. I have a big scrap pile of sterling that I'm saving until I get quite a bit of it. Eh, doesn't stick. It's not marked. And I don't see any copper, so put it over there. Let's see if we can get anything else to fall out of this big mess. Like, here's barbell. See some barbells. Another earring. Go back the other way. Get this earring out of the way. It's one of these. See a lot of these modern designs. This is some kind of barbell. Look at that. Oh, it's heavy too. Not exactly light. Let's see. Yeah. Almost reminds me of something that would be a novelty item sold on Wish. But it's really nice, though. It's nice quality. For Wish, if that's who it's from. It's really nice. I kind of like it. Let's put it over here with the kind of likes. Silver plate. Silver plate. And a lot of times these actually clean up really nice. I get that. I'm checking the wire. There's my bird. I'm waiting for him to fly over here, land on my head. I have not been in here much lately. And he's been missing me. I come in here and talk to him every day. I do. But I haven't been spending as much time in here because I've been really busy at work and really busy with this. And we've just been busy. I'm trying to list things that haven't got as much listed as I wanted to. That definitely needs cleaned. Wow, it's dirty. See, my fingers are getting filthy. Well, I guess we're going to... we got six minutes. What do you think? I'll see how clean I can get that. Maybe I'll show that video one day. That feels like paparazzi. And I've been doing these jewelry jars for a couple of years. So you get to know things. Just by the feel of them. I have been surprised with some paparazzi though. See? That one's pretty. It's not as bad. That butterfly is not as bad. That other butterfly, it had all kinds of wear on it. So maybe somebody wore one and didn't wear the other. I don't know. 